Hi, hello, uh, welcome back. Danya here. So today we are with a new content that is chapter 5, Mental Behavioral Disorders. F series codes will be discussed in this chapter. So if you are watching my channel for the first time, please do subscribe and if you find it useful, please do share it with your friends also. Hereby I am adding an iCard for the uh, iCard for ICD 10 CM guidelines video so that you can check those playlists and you can see how uh, the guideline has been taught in the for the remaining chapters and I am sure it will be really helpful for you and if you need any practice scenarios for practicing these questions you can just mail me I will help you with the questions also so that's all about um, so here in this chapter we will be uh, seeing about uh, mental behavioral conditions factitious disorder uh, everything will be discussed in this don't skip the video uh, if you skip you will lose some points that will be difficult for you to understand later so if you are watching the video continuously, you will have a proper idea about this chapter. So thank you so much. Watch the video completely. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Take care. Bye-bye. So we are starting with uh, chapter 5, Mental Behavioral and Neurodevelopmental Disorder, F01-F99. So that uh, in this chapter, mainly we will be discussing about the conditions which are uh, present in this chapter and it is a very easy chapter to understand as well as very easy to code also <coughs> so the first one is f45.41 that is pain um, pain disorder exclusively related to psychological factor so what does this mean like uh, a person is having a psychological uh, issues maybe stress anxiety or anything because of that psychological issue the patient is experiencing a pain that is called as pain disorder related to psychological factor for that you have to give a 45.41 hereby i have given an example a patient present with chronic lower back pain that worsened significantly during the time of stress and anxiety physical examination and diagnostic tests rule out any structural abnormalities or diseases that could explain the pain in this case it is considered as pain disorder related to psychological factor for that you are giving a 45.41 Next is pain disorder with the relative, uh, related psychological factor. Here both physical pain as well as psychological pain both are present. In this case we have to quote from G89 series as well as F45.42. So the primary code will be for pain not elsewhere classified that is G89 and second code will be for F45.42. Next is in remission. In remission in the sense that is a thing that is gradually decreasing that is called as in remission. So the um, mainly if a patient have any behavioral disorder due to psychoactive substance that is alcohol abuse or dependence, tobacco abuse or dependence, drug abuse or dependence. For this case out of treatment if the patient is getting into remission we have to give the final character as 0.11 or 0.21. Example. Here, um, uh, the alcoholic pancreatitis due to alcohol dependence. In this, first you are coding for alcohol uh, related pancreatitis and second you are coding for alcohol dependence. For this, that is if a patient is having uh, use, abuse and dependence, you have to code for the severity. And then blood alcohol level. So, Y90 should be given for blood alcohol level. And before that, primarily you have to code for the alcohol related conditions. So first code for alcohol related condition and second code for uh, blood alcohol level if they check uh, blood alcohol level. Okay. So next guideline is um, uh, factitious disorder. So factitious disorder is a psychological disorder which is called as Munchausen syndrome uh, or Munchausen syndrome by proxy. So the patient that is self blaming like uh, the patient is uh, exaggerating a condition which is not present for themselves that is called as uh, factitious disorder imposed on self for that you are giving F68.1. If they are imposing those conditions on others like fakely describing anything about other people that is called as Munchausen syndrome by proxy in this case you have have to give F68.A. Next is dementia. Dementia should be coded based on the severity, mild, moderate and severe, mild F01, moderate F02 and severe F03. 
so that's all about mental behavioral disorder conditions thank you so much for watching please take a note of all the guidelines whichever is being discussed so that it will be helpful for you while uh, studying for your cpc exam as well as if you are preparing for your interview also it will be useful thank you so much for your time take care bye bye